Hello, my Nakamatachi. This is Joy News for the first time this year, welcoming you into 2022. We hope you had a lovely holiday season with your loved ones and hope that you're excited to be back. Today, we bring you updates from all across the island to get you ready for the coming year of One Piece greatness. We now move into Onigashima for our traffic report. There is just a lot of movement everywhere. I see some activity on the rooftop. Even the Onigashima skull itself seems to be slightly shaking as if it can't handle everything going on inside. Wait, what is that? Back to you. After the fall of Queen in the last chapter, Zoro has managed to bring about the fall of King. Observers can't help but comment that he really looks like a fallen angel, cementing Zoro's own new nickname as the King of Hell. And whilst the Marys and the CP0 are starting to show some concern about the fall of the final Beast Pirates executive, the Aegis member has stated that these victories for the Alliance are meaningless so long as the real monsters remain standing. It seems that the supernova captains will have to turn into monsters themselves to take the Yonko down and pave the way for the new generation. Indeed, we've heard reports that Big Mom is still up and as ferocious as ever, giving Lore and Kid a very hard time, whilst Luffy and Kaido are playing a very intense but fun game of paper, scissors, rock, and Kanabo. For now, let's go to weather. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. I don't think that that's very appropriate. Let's go to sports. Our sports media analyst provides an in-depth look at Onigashima's annual sumo wrestling competition. As you can hear, the crowd is just buzzing. This is the match of the season, with some saying that Fuga and Rocky have bad, bad blood between them. There's Coach Yamato in Fuga's corner, and Rocky just doesn't look like he's all that interested. In fact, he actually looks like he might be sleeping. Nevertheless, the crowd is just eclectic. Everyone's on fire. In fact, it's getting a little hot in here. Like, really, we might be surrounded by fire. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Fuga has just attacked! Fuga has attacked before! The bell has rung! Disqualified! Disqualified! What a riveting match! The hold that Yamato has over Fuga and the loyalty of the number to the young master certainly raises more questions about the relationship between these two. In entertainment, the much-anticipated buddy cop film has tanked after overwhelming reviews of the bad chemistry between Drake and Apu and with complaints about Drake's lack of screen time and portrayal in comparison to his fellow supernova. Apu is reported to be working on his own to stardom now and has left Drake lying in the dust. In other news, we have some live correspondence interviews from both sides of the battle to share their thoughts and expectations for the remainder of the raid. Going to the scene now. It seems that Raizo and Fukuro Koju are stuck in a stalemate with the threat of being burned. Who will succumb to this fiery scene first? As the man himself stated in a callback to the Hour of Legends, Raizo is the betting favourite. Going to the Alliance's side, we have an outsider who has become the centre of attention. Here with us, we have a bystander who witnessed the entire event unfold. Please, mister, could you tell us what happened? Why all the commotion? Did you know the Akazaya is still alive? We thought they were all done for! It's all thanks to that long-nosed sniper. He probably stopped Kaido from killing them. 
I heard that legend is worth 200 million berries. I heard that he's the real captain with 8,000 followers. What a legend. We even saw him commanding the beast pirates earlier. What a guy. I'm gonna be more like him this year. Huzzah! The bravery of Usopp has swept Onigashima like a fever, with even Izo recognizing the godly attributes of the Straw Hat Sniper. The Alliance is very excited as to what he may achieve for the rest of the raid. Back to you. A video of Usopp's inspirational motivation speech has gone viral online with many adopting his mantra as their New Year's resolution. Speaking of the New Year, we are all very excited for everything in the works for 2022, but of course we cannot forget the huge year we had in 2021. Last year was a colossal year for One Piece fans, with the series reaching 1,000 chapters, 100 volumes, as well as 1,000 episodes in the anime. We also had the announcement of the live-action cast for the live-action series, as well as news of a new One Piece film coming next year. Apart from these, we've had great developments in the story as well, and it seems like we have quite the year planned for us in 2022 as One Piece reaches its 25th anniversary and we can bet that there are some special things planned for such a celebration. We also have Film Red scheduled to be released this year, and quite possibly, or very likely, the finale of the Wano arc and the conclusion of this raid. But of course, we must then first see the intriguing end of Orochi, the solution to the impending arrival of the world government, and of course, the fall of Kaido. Thank you all for tuning in to Joy News, and please do subscribe if you'd like to continue being updated on the events at Wano in 2022. You can also leave comments below and even become a Patreon member to support independent and reliable journalism. This is Joy News, and we'll see you again soon. I heard that he's actually the captain with 8,000 followers. What a legend, that legend. Oh, I forgot my lines. We even saw him commanding the Beast Pirates too. What a guy. Oh, next year, this year, freak.